and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss how to write arithmetic sequence both recursively and with an explicit formula and translate between the two forms. Now, let us find the recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence. Now, consider the following sequence. Here, first term, that is A1, is equal to 4. Second term, A2, is equal to 7. Third term, A3, is equal to 10 and so on. Now let us see the difference between the two consecutive terms. Now a2 minus a1 is equal to 7 minus 4 that is equal to 3. a3 minus a2 is equal to 10 minus 7 that is equal to 3. Now here a4 is 13. So a4 minus a3 is equal to 13 minus 10 that is also 3 and so on. Thus there is a common difference denoted by d between the consecutive terms of the sequence and that difference is d is equal to 3. So we have the following pattern. a1 is equal to 4. Then a2 is equal to 7 which can be written as 4 plus 3. Or we can write it as a2 is equal to. Now a1 is equal to 4. So a2 can be written as a1 plus 3. Then a3 is equal to 10 which can be written as 7 plus 3 or we can write it as a3 is equal to now a2 is equal to 7 so a3 can be written as a2 plus 3 and so on. Thus continuing like this We see each term is sum of the preceding term and the common difference 3. Thus, nth term of the sequence will be a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 3 where a n minus 1 is preceding or previous term of a n. So, recursive formula for this sequence is given by a1 is equal to 4, a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 3, where n is greater than 1. Or we can also write it as a1 is equal to 4, a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus 3 where n is greater than or equal to 1. Thus, in general, the recursive formula for arithmetic sequence is given by a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus d where n is greater than or equal to 1 and D is common difference or we can write it as A n is equal to A n minus 1 plus D where n is greater than 1 also first term of the sequence That is, A1 is known 
Now, let us see an example. Here, consider the following sequence. Now here, common difference D is equal to 2. Now here you can see difference between two consecutive terms of this sequence. That is 4 minus 2 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2, 8 minus 6 is 2 and so on. So here common difference D is equal to 2. So its recursive formula is a m plus 1 is equal to a m plus d where n is greater than or equal to 1 and first term of this sequence that is a1 is equal to 2. Now let us put the value of d in this formula and we get a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus 2 as here d is equal to 2 where n is greater than equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 2. Now let us find explicit formula for this arithmetic sequence. Now here we have common difference d is equal to 3. Now here you can see 7 minus 4 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3, 13 minus 10 is again 3 and so on. So common difference d is 3 here. Now the first term of the sequence that is a1 is equal to 4 which can be written as 4 plus 0 into 3. Then second term a2 is equal to 7 which can be written as 4 plus 1 into 3 which can also be written as a1 plus 1 into d or simply a1 plus d. Then a3 that is the third term is 10 which can be written as 4 plus 2 into 3 and this can be written as a1 plus 2 into d or simply a1 plus 2d. Further, the fourth term that is a4 is equal to 13 which can be written as 4 plus 3 into 3 and this can be written as a1 plus 3 into d or simply a1 plus 3d and so on. Now continuing like this, we get the nth term of this sequence a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 the whole into d. So here explicit formula is a n is equal to now a1 here is 4 plus n minus 1 the whole into d which is 3. So this implies a n is equal to 4 plus 3 n minus 3 which implies a n is equal to now 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 3 n or we can write it as a n is equal to 3 n plus 1. Thus we have a n is equal to 3 n plus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 1. Thus, in an arithmetic sequence, the explicit formula for finding all the terms of the sequence when we know the first term a1 and the common difference d is given by a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 the whole into d where n is greater than or equal to 1. Now suppose we have to find the 11th term of the sequence 
whose explicit formula is given as a n is equal to 3 n plus 1 where n is greater than equal to 1 so here we will put n is equal to 11 in this formula and we have a 11 is equal to 3 into 11 plus 1 which implies a 11 is equal to 33 plus 1 which implies a 11 is equal to 34 so 11th term of this sequence is 34 now let us see how to find explicit formula from the recursive formula for example, we found the recursive formula as a1 is equal to 4, an is equal to an minus 1 plus 3, where n is greater than 1. Now see, here common difference d is equal to 3 and first term a1 is equal to 4. So, Explicit formula is a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 the whole into d which will be equal to now a1 is 4 plus n minus 1 the whole into d is 3 which is equal to 4 plus 3 n minus 3 which is equal to 3n plus 1 so a n is equal to 3n plus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 1 is the explicit formula so we have found explicit formula from the recursive formula. So in this session we have obtained the reference formula and explicit formula for arithmetic sequence. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.